Hey guys, Chris, Midwest Long Range. We're out here at the uh, shop today. We're gonna get some, some testing done on the X5 Conquer 5-25 and the X3 Conquer 6-24. So we're gonna do an impact test, uh, kind of like some in the field type stuff, whereas if you were out hunting or what have you and you dropped your rifle, um, what can it withstand it? You know, of course that's that's gonna test more than just the scope that's going to, you know, we're talking mounts, rings, the rifle, uh, any, any kind of bed job, you know, whether or not you have all those torques down right. So it's a lot going into that one. And then we're also going to take a, we're going to do a tracking test. We're going to shoot, shoot a couple rounds, run it, run the scope elevation all the way up to its, to its max point, bring it back down, shoot another group, see if it tracked back in the vertical. We're gonna do that, and then after I get done with that, who knows, I might do something fun. We'll, we'll see what I come up with. I got a couple ideas, so we'll see what it does, and let's get started. All right, this is Cameron Davis. This is his setup with a ride-on scope. Right, Cameron, tell them what you got. Here we've got a Taxol 22. It's on the 1022 footprint, and I've got the ride-on 6x24x50 FFP on there. X3 Conquer, right? Yeah, X3 Conquer. So we're just going to show you what kind of groups we're shooting first so that we have a baseline, and then we'll go from there. All right, here we go. go. Camera. Second from the right left on the pot. All right, so that was Cameron's uh, 1022 Taxel uh, with the tactical solution setup and the X3 6 24 Conquer. I'm shooting, you guys have seen this gun, this is my Ruger American Target with a X5 Conquer 5 25. Um, uh, you've seen this, I had it the last 22 shoot and in my uh, Precision 22 video, anything out of the safe. So I'm going to shoot a quick group, just to give you an idea of what this gun's doing at 100. And uh, I hope it's still on. I haven't touched it since the 22 shoot. So we're shooting uh, SK rifle match out of this. Cameron, go ahead and hit that one. We are ready. I will be shooting... Top row, third, center target, third one from either side. One. All right, so and yes, we were just shooting groups on that. I will make a quick adjustment to try to get that in the bullseye. Let me see here. Let's see if I have made the correct adjustment. I did not have the correct dope in my 
Now then my turn. kind of see where the guns are hitting we're gonna do our impact test and see if we change our our uh, point of impact any and uh, see what we can do from there all right guys bear with me for a minute hit the button so for the impact test we've already shot this gun you saw it shot okay um, it was cold bore it's got AccuTac bipod mount on the front of it. Everything's just right there. I have not touched anything. Matter of fact, it's still dialed to 1.6. I've seen guys do all kinds of impact tests, so uh, I don't know what else to do other than this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. That, that sounded like a pretty good thump, don't you think, Cameron? I think it did. I don't know. How about that? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I mean hell. I guess we just drop it. Some shit like that, maybe. That'll do. Uh -oh. You want you want to do do your tax or You want yeah. to? Yeah. <laughs> so here's uh same thing. Here's uh here's the tax <laughs> I mean, it's still right where it was at. Just like Chris's. Here we go. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's see what happens. Yep. All right. We're back from banging these guns around, throwing them in the dirt, slaying them all over the place. Let's see if we can shoot a shoot back inside the orange at 100 yards. I'm gonna shoot uh, far right target. Okay. Top row, far right. Here we go. Gun's heating up a little bit, but that's right where I think it ought to be. Looks like our, our scope held up great. So we'll move on to the tack salt. See what happens. All right, guys. Well, here we are with the old tack sole. You can see what the uh, impact test did to it. So five rounds, here we go. I'm gonna shoot the second one from the left on the bottom row again. Not again, but... So now we're going to do a tracking test. Um, I, we sat here and we thought about this for a minute, how we're going to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot uh, the target just right of the one Cameron just shot. 
I'm gonna put two two shots on target. Then I will run the scope all the way up to its upper limit. I'm gonna run it pretty quick. I'm gonna be a little rough on it. And I'm gonna run it back down to my my hundred yard mark. I'm at uh, 1.1 or yeah 1.1 and shoot a three round group and hopefully we're where it's supposed to be. So let's see what happens. Here we go. All right. There was that. We're sitting at one point one from the zero stop. We will run it all the way up. There's my upper limit. There's my zero stop. One point one. Here comes the three round group. That looks pretty good to me. So, I'd say she tracked real good. Again, we're not shooting 50 yards. We're shooting 100 yards, because that's what I got. So, moving on to the tack sole. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're gonna do a track test on the X3 Conquer. We're gonna shoot two rounds, just like Chris did, and then we're gonna adjust her all the way up, and then shoot, come back down, and then shoot a three round group. So, here we go. Shoot the next one in line. That's it. So, I don't really know what else to do with them. They work fine, track good, held zero, uh, and they seem to do good in matches. So, till next time, this is Midwest Long Range. We'll see you later.